Hi, and welcome to Williams TV. Rob Smelly and I are having a nice little holiday by the river, um, or the rowing basin even. This is very romantic. Um, it's neither romantic nor a holiday, <laughs> to be honest. No, no, we are in fact at the, uh, well, probably it is the most scenic paddock, isn't it, of the season? Well, it's lovely, America. it yes. really is. I, uh, I really love this place. Um, you know, I, I've, I've actually ran from here back to the city, which is uh, back to the it's hotel, which 6K, is, is it? 10K, 10K. 10K. Yeah, oh, you're, yeah. you're further away than we are. Yeah. I, I ran last night. Yeah, no, it's lovely, isn't it? It's, uh, anyway, shall we talk about racing? We're at the Canadian Grand Prix. It's a tricky race, this one, for teams and cars with, you know, a lot of load on the brakes and it's, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, in, in general, it's just quite a difficult circuit. Um, but I think it's for, for, for the reasons that you've said. I don't, I don't think the, 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 the corners are particularly difficult. I think it's getting used to how high the curbs are, you know, the, the trajectories are that yeah. there's, there's one line through, pretty much one line through all the corners, but it's, it's trying to handle how the, the really high curbs that we've got here, yeah. which is quite different to, to everywhere else we go. And then, and then the big braking as well and trying to just, just combine the two. Yeah. I mean, I went to watch FP1 at the, the last chicane and I love watching it down there because you can, A, you're really close to the track and B, you can almost, you get a reading on driver psychology. You know, the, your, your experienced guys, Lewis and Fernando and stuff, they're not risking all. You know, they're, they're building up and they're creeping up to it and they wait. To, you know, it, it's, a, it's a psychological game here, isn't it, for the drivers? Like, you, you almost need to wait for that big lap in qualifying before you, you have a big yeah, risk. Yeah, well, it's, it's a li I always think it's a little bit like Monaco because the walls are so close it's on, on the exit, you know? I mean, yeah. the, the, you've got this wide open track and then all of a sudden, the, the, the walls are, are, are right there on the exit of all the chicanes. And, and, yeah. and the final wall here, I think we call it the wall of champions, don't we? But there's, yeah. there's, there's certainly more than champions that go in there every year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, and it's kind of, you, you do have to build up to it like Monaco and just get closer and closer to the, to, yeah. to the exit walls. And also the asphalt here is quite low grip, isn't it? I think they, they get the harsh winters and it, it's, I mean, I, I, I've been here in February when it was minus 27. My Indian blood wasn't very happy at that point, and it's, you, you can imagine all of that takes a toll on the on the actual the actual asphalt, and it doesn't get used any other time of the year. No, that's right. We were discussing that th this morning. So the so so the, the the micro macro, without getting too geeky, the yeah. the, the, the roughness is, is really really low, as you said. And what that does is it is it you don't generate much grip, especially at the start of the weekend. And as we put a bit more rubber down and we clean the track up a little bit, yeah, um, the grip comes up. And, and don't forget, we've got quite soft compounds this year as well. We've got that hyper soft, so. Yeah. I'm guessing by, certainly by this afternoon, the track's going to be in a reasonable condition and then everyone will get the hyper soft on in the second run and, and yeah. um, I guess it's, we're probably going to, definitely by tomorrow it'll be first lap. Yeah. Um, should we go for a wander into Can the hospitality? Um, let's leave the sunshine and I will let you lead the way. Go on. Thank you. So we'll, we'll head in, just poke your head in here, Jacques, for a quick second and we'll, this is where the engineer's office is and you obviously got communication back to the team in Grove as well, Rob. Um, how was how was this morning? What's the what's the mood like in that office at the moment? Yeah, fairly. I mean, uh, fairly sublime. Everyone's just getting on with the job. You know, that's that's what it should be. There shouldn't be any any dramas at, at, at this point of the weekend. Definitely not. Yeah. Um, so we're just cracking on with things. Yeah. Um, you know, just getting ready for P2. We we've we had both cars um, had small accidents yeah. during the first session. Yeah. And what we've then done is we've had to modify a little bit the programs because of that. Um, but you know, I mean, it's 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 not a big deal. It's it's just normal what you'd expect yeah. first sessions in Canada. Yeah. Um, well, we got a bloke here who has one here in Canada. What's on your phone? What are, you, are you on Instagram? What's oh, happening I'm, here? I'm checking uh, Radio Sardinia. Oh. You, is your friend winning? Who are you who are you cheering for? No one. Nobody. Okay. So you're just watching. Um, Should hello, be Robert. Working. Welcome to Canada. Should be working. Not checking your your telephone. I'm working. This is my job. Um, no, your, your, um, yeah, your, I'm your, your opening the door. Williams Martini, not Rally Sardinia, <laughs> Canadian Grand Prix. <laughs> Shall I go? Sorry, no, no. I'm gonna go. Ah, yeah. You go. <laughs> um, so, Robert, this is um, it's an int you've had an interesting history, here, haven't you? You um, you you nearly nearly killed yourself on the first one year, <laughs> <laughs> and then you came back for glory the year after. <laughs> So, which one should we talk about first? Because that shunt, I wish we should replay it this morning. That was uh, fairly spectacular. Big one. That was, a pro that was a proper accident. Yeah, it, it was, yeah. But I, I, I was not killed. 
no. because the day after I was I was out of the hospital, so I was not a part of. Uh, yeah, it has been a heavy accident, a lucky one, uh, but yeah, big deacceleration. Let's big talk impact. about the next year. No, no, let, no. Let, no. Tell us about that then. So, 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 so how did you yeah, have that accident? Because that was that was oh, big mistake, again. wasn't it? Big mistake. Uh, big by mistake. Who? By who? You. No. <laughs> you cannot make mistake there. Apart the no, everybody knows more or less. And it was a long time ago. Also, my victory was a long time ago. So let's talk about okay. present, not ten years ago. Something what happened ten years ago. Actually, today is the day, which not I that think. You're counting or anything. No, I think I I was told today is the day. So today is the day of what? Of my win, ten years ah, exactly. Right. Ten years to the day. Yeah. First, know. first and last one. I beat you. Because I won, so I had to beat you. <laughs> do you remember that day? I do remember that day. Yeah, you deserved the win. It was a good win. Um, so I mean, we, 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 we gave it away. We, we could have won it, obviously, that day. And yeah. what happened? Why didn't you win it? You they were, they were just too slow. We were too, we were too slow, yeah. Actually, your, your teammate was next to me on end of pit lane. There was one red car, but it was not yours. <laughs> It was yes. a bad day. A bad I don't. Think, I don't think. I don't think that. Um, I remember the last time Ferrari did well here. It's got to be the Michael era. <laughs> yeah, Fernando. Fernando had a second, I think, didn't he? A second or a third one year. And yeah. Well, we had that year when um, we stayed out when Lewis pitted from the lead, and then I think we were in the mix there. It was 2012, and then we stayed out with Fernando. Yeah. And finished seventh or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, that was an interesting debrief, I imagine. Uh, why yeah. we don't talk about what's going on now? Okay, Robert, let's talk about what's to? going on now. Have you, you, have, you enjoyed, have you enjoyed Montreal 2018? What have you been up to? Well, I arrived late, so I had a massive jet lag. So, uh, <laughs> 5.55 in the First gym. First of all, problems. <laughs> <laughs> Big problem, <laughs> jet lag. <laughs> uh, no, but... Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying. Uh, it's a nice place to be. Uh, not, not a lot of things has changed, so... Um, the track is still very tricky, which we saw it. And yeah, it's a uh, it's nice town, same. Uh, roads are worse, uh, they are quite bumpy actually. I thought in Poland we have better, wo uh, better roads, but uh, I have to say Montreal. What, what, what are we even talking about here? We're talking about Montreal. What do you want to talk about? Uh, about where, uh, where, did you, where did you eat last night, Robert? Where, uh, where did you I eat? have uh, dinner in Italian. Italian restaurant. Right, which Italian restaurant? Come on, uh, promote we it. Shouldn't, we shouldn't make uh, promote publicity. We Pro cannot. Promote it and it's then not, we, we it's might not get a free meal tonight. It's not a partner of our team, so we cannot say the name. Of course we can. You can, I cannot. Let's just get a bit of control back here. <laughs> uh, you're, you're in charge here. You're yeah, it's not, going, it's not going very well, we is it? Dominating. We are yeah, dominating you. you. I mean, after this, I think you should just take charge of Facebook Live, maybe. No, 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 no. I'm already doing too many things. I was opening and closing the door. For and looking at Rowdy Sardinia, yeah, you are doing too many things, it's clear. You have to cover everything. You have to know exactly what's going on. You can always, uh, you know, pick up uh, information. Okay, listen, have you been around the track this weekend? Is it, did it, does it look different to when you were last here? When did you last come here? Well, I think uh, turn one is still left, so it looks similar. And the rest I of think, it? I think it's the same, isn't it? But I'm going to have a look at a track map from 2008. <laughs> And, <laughs> and see whether it's changed or not. But kerbs, I are, kerbs are a bit different, but not massively. The walls are in the same place, so... Uh <laughs> That's not true. The wall of the last one's been moved. Has Do you not notice that? Well, they put barriers instead I now. Yeah, okay, right. but, yeah. But, but still, it's the wall actually physically is still there. Nobody moved them. Although I tried it in 2007 to move the wall quite heavily. Yeah. That was a good effort. But it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, listen, what, uh, what's your best memory of here? Obviously, his is going to be winning. What's your best memory of the Canadian Grand Prix? I have better memory. Oh, do you? Okay, yes. come on. Yeah. Well, he's, he's thinking. He is thinking. He has to yeah, think. He is an engineer, so he has to yeah. think a lot. 2006. Okay. Uh, you know, we, I was fair driver in BMW. And uh, at that time, uh, we fair drivers, they were running fair cars, so yeah. there was a lot of action. And uh, we were so fast that uh, at that time, technical director Willy Ramp jumped out from the wall, came to the car and say, we will not put less fuel because we are too fast. 
faster than the race drivers? No, I don't know. Uh, we cannot we cannot say. But uh, it's been 12 years. I think you can now. Statue of limitations is over on that. We cannot say. But we were very strong. But we didn't qualify in, uh, in top 10, so we were not so strong in Saturday. But Friday we were very strong. Okay. Good memory. Very good. Now yours, and then we're going to wrap this up. I don't. I don't think I've got many good memories from here. <laughs> it's all what's going through my mind is just lots and lots of bad memories. Remember what's your worst like, memory of here? Probably when uh, Lewis drove into the back of Kimi at the end of the, uh, at the pit lane here in 2007. Come on, you were a bit happy. You gained some positions. Come on. <laughs> Be honest. Not everybody's mind works like you. <laughs> However, right. I've got some very good memories of the city. I usually bring my wife here. Yeah. And we, Are there uh, little smedleys here? Have a, no, they're not here. This uh, I can't get them to come because the hotel's too low rent. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's this has true. been a quality. Yeah. Back work. What? Rally Sardinia? No, no, no. Proper work. Proper work. What is your proper work? Open the door. <laughs> Carry on. Show us your technique. <laughs> uh, this has been a highly informative Facebook Live for everybody at home, and uh, we'll endeavour to do better on Sunday. I think. Are I we? Hope so yeah. We can't be can't be hard, can it? Well, it's a race to the bottom, isn't it? Every every <laughs> Friday now is a race to the bottom. It's because so we got him involved. So when you bring him in, yeah, yeah I think we're, we were much better off without him. Well, we were him. absolutely professional. We were flying. Yeah, we were been, on it. It could have been. This was the dream team, and yeah. he's just broken us. He's, he's ruined it again. Right, anyway, <laughs> see you on Sunday.